Hey guys, it's John P. Uh, just thought I'd do a daily vlog today. I am, um, it's about 8.15 in the morning, Saturday morning. I'm in the car and uh, heading to the gym. So, a lot of you guys have been giving me comments about uh, how I'm looking. Uh, specifically when I'm doing my daily shows and stuff and and I appreciate all the positive comments and uh, feedback uh, you know I know that uh, you guys have told me that I look a lot bigger look like I've lost a lot of weight uh, and and I've had a lot of questions about that like how much weight have I lost and uh, what am I doing to work out and things like that um, so I figured I'd answer a few of those questions for you and just kind of share a little bit of the insight with you today is October what is it the 10th or something like that and I started on my geek fit workout program um, March the 10th I believe is when we first started it uh, and so it turns out I guess we've been we're about seven months into this six and a half seven months into this and Basically, in a nutshell, it's been all about pain. So, <laughs> uh, I don't want to give you f false impressions. There's a lot of folks who want to tell you how uh, this is going to make you feel good. You should, you know, get up every day and you're going to just love doing this. It's not true. Right now, I don't want to be going to the gym. I, my side hurts. Uh, the big muscles that you have on the side of your body or your lats. Um, my right lat, I pulled a muscle the other day and it hurts. It's been hurting ever since I pulled it. I pulled it in the gym, working out, doing pull-ups actually, chin-ups. And so it hurts. I don't want to go to the gym today. But it turns out that's what I've learned. That's what I've learned about this whole process. Um, it's not about the days I want to work out. It's about the days I don't want to work out. You got to go. You got to do it. It's kind of like uh, you got to look at it. You got to look at it like you're going to work. Why do you work? Why do you go to Why do you go to work every day? You don't have to. You're gonna be like, oh, I have to go to work. No, you don't have to. You only have to go to work to live the way you think you want to live, to keep the same lifestyle. Well, working out's the same way. How do you want to look? How do you want to feel? You only have to go work out if you want to maintain, if you want to, you know, live that kind of lifestyle. So um, I've made a choice. You know, I wanted to get fit. And that's why Callie and I started the whole Get Fit program. So uh, if I were to try and compress everything that I've learned in the last half a year or so, so that you could perhaps follow along if you were interested in the journey, I would tell you this. First of all, you have to be committed to it. And uh, if you're going to commit, you got you to gotta commit for at least three months to start with. That's what I did. First thing I did was I committed to three months. And I did it hard. I spend four to six hours a week in the gym which also means probably another roughly the same amount of time coming and going from the gym uh, for me you know it's going to take you 30 minutes to get ready and get there and all that stuff and probably the same amount of time to go somewhere else so you got to commit to let's say 10 hours a week of gym time and you have to really go to a gym by the way um, I've seen a lot of people try and do this by working out on treadmills or walking around the block or whatever. It's you got to get you got to get in a gym, and I think uh, having a trainer, a decent trainer, will probably help. But uh, short of that, um, actually, a lot of you have asked uh, Callie and I what what can you do to actually physically work out the way we are, and and trainers are expensive, so. Uh, we're going to try and put something together for you so you can have a little workout program that you don't have to pay for since since we were fortunate enough to have Jeff Dwelly teach us and that's worth thousands of dollars a month. 
So we'll try and put something together for you guys. But I think having a trainer can help if you can afford it, at least for a, for, for a few weeks to get you started so you can make sure you learn everything. Then it's a matter of just getting out there and doing it. You gotta do it at least three times a week, four if you can, five if you're insane like me. And you gotta go when you don't want to. That's the key. Just like everything else in life, you gotta go when you don't want to. So you commit to that first three months, and I promise you, I promise you, if you really stick to it and you do that every day, you'll see huge results. It depends on what you want. When I first got this thing started, I just wanted to lose my belly. I didn't want to look fat. That didn't take very long, to be honest. So then I started getting different goals. You know, I don't want to just, I don't want to be skinny. I want to get bigger. And uh, that started working. My body type takes a little longer for me to get big than some people, which is good and bad. So after my first three months, I said, you know what? Let's go for let's let's go for six. I'll commit to six. So I'll give it three more. And I did that, and now I'm I'm at a point where, you know, after six or almost seven months, it's kind of a new it's kind of a change for me. And when I don't go work out. I really miss it. So, uh, if I could wish one thing for you guys, it's that, uh, first of all, I'd wish that you're just happy. I just want you to be happy with yourselves. If you're not happy with yourself, then uh, I would like for you to give it a try and see about getting yourself fitness, fit. You know, get involved in some fitness activities and uh, make yourself feel good because you deserve it. So that's it for today's vlog. I'll be at the gym here in a few minutes and uh, we'll keep it up. I'll talk to you later.